Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you if this game's with their time and bandwidth. Today's game is Helldivers 1. I'm doing my part to spread fascism across the galaxy. Is the original Helldivers still worth playing now that the sequel's out? Let's find out. Helldivers is a mission-based co-op dual stick shooter with an emphasis on gradual progression and quick, bite-sized, but challenging combat missions that you can do solo or with friends. You play as a Helldiver, the basic military unit from Super Earth. The theme is very much Paul Verhoeven's Starship Troopers, with the nationalistic fascism gussed up with propaganda, down to some comedic lines like eat democracy as you invade native planets and murder the inhabitants. Themes aside, the actual loop is very simple. There's three enemy factions that you gotta wipe out, and in a clever twist, every single player on Helldivers contributes to an overall progression pool to slowly advance to the enemy homeworld. By doing missions, you earn points that go into group pool that everyone contributes to, and when it fills up, Super Earth's regime expands closer to conquest. Within these empires, you have plans to conquer, each with at least two missions to complete. Missions are entirely objective-based, with stuff like reactivating missile silos, scanning for bombs to disarm, or establishing bases. Once your objectives are done, you extract and move on to the next mission. Within the missions themselves, you'll be outnumbered and have limited supplies, meaning you'll have to play strategically. Local patrols are all over, and if they spot you, they'll raise an alarm, spawning a horde to deal with. Too many hordes and you'll run out of ammo and die, so strategy involves killing squads quickly or avoiding them. While you have a primary and secondary weapon, the real firepower is through requisitions. You have a limited kit of supplies that can be dropped in on cooldown, and these can be extremely strong, from turrets that are great at committing friendly fire, to mech suits, or just basic stuff like ammo or higher powered weapon. These help turn the tide against impossible odds. Missions are generally short, with rewards coming fairly quickly. Ranking up not only unlocks new gear, but also gives upgrade points, which you can also earn while gathering research, and these permanently boost your weapons in requisition. And that's Helldivers, short mission loops that contribute to both personal progression and a large-scale progression, with an emphasis on precision dual-stick shooting. So what did I like about Helldivers 1? Well, the objective-based missions are very fun to play through, with tight dual-stick shooting and plenty of challenge to keep you on your toes, particularly on higher-tier missions where things get a lot crazier. Additionally, this community is still very active, and in my experience, experience, friendly, and positive. I had no issues finding people to play with on PS4, and made some new friends spinning around twirling our capes. And lastly, there's a surprising amount of content and build variety should you dig into it, with a ton of weapons to both unlock and upgrade, and combinations to try based on the mission requirements at hand. When it comes to the bad, while upgrades come quick early, it turns into a pretty significant grind. And since the game is mostly mission-based with no real ending, it definitely feels more grindy than it might in, say, a game that has an actual ending. Additionally, early missions are actually kind of dull, as there's limited enemy encounters, and you walk around doing a lot of nothing. It means the first couple hours are much less interesting than the ones to follow. And lastly, I found playing a lot of it back to back, it does get pretty repetitive, especially since enemies and mission types will repeat often. As you know, at Graham's here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. And I think Helldivers is still a ton of fun, and is different enough from its sequel to be worth playing today. It has servers that are currently working, and a very active community, paired with tons of random missions to play, and unlocks to work towards. Helldivers is a great game to just pick up and play a mission or two when you have some time. So if you enjoy dual stick shooting and spreading fascism, I mean democracy across the galaxy, Helldivers is absolutely still worth playing in 2024. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Are you going to check out Helldivers 1? Or are you totally in the loop for Helldivers 2? Please let me know what you think in the comments. But regardless, Helldivers 1 is still absolutely worth your time, so go out there and give it a look.